Hey guys, John here with Terminal Goblin Games, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Tiled, a free and open source map editor. It was originally meant for video games, but we are going to be using it for RPG hex tile maps. And because there is a lot of uh, a lot of fear currently in the RPG community about uh, licensing, I'm going to be debuting a hex map collection that uh, I made myself. And I'm going to be licensed it as CC BY, meaning all you got to do is credit me and you can use it however you wish. Uh, and I made it because I want something I can use in my products that can't be revoked and, you know, can't have any legal screwery or whatever. So uh, let's begin. So first what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to New Project. And, you know, we'll name, name this Untitled Project. That's fine. Hit Save here. Now we have this little, this little map up here. Or not map, sorry, this little folder. From here we're going to go to New Tile Set. And we're going to name this Pixel Test. And uh, usually you would have to change the tile width and the tile height, but uh, mine is 32 by 32, so you could just keep the default. And you just select the, uh, the dot ping here. And then you click Save As, and just save it in your... And here we go. So now we have all these tiles and stuff, so now we need a map to hold them. So we're going to go to File, New, New Map. And it's going to open this dialog here. I'm going to switch this to hexagonal. And 30 by 20, we can always change the map size, so don't worry too much about this. And tile size, as we said before, 32 by 32. So now we're given this. And first off, you'll see that, hey, wait a minute, this, these are pointy hex tops. I want flat hex tops. Well, me too. So we're going to go to, okay, I don't actually know how to get back to that. So we're going to make another new map. And we're going to go over here to the properties and change the stagger axis from Y to X. Once we do that, you'll see we have our flat tops and these now match. We can make our make our map. Let's make us, you know, a little little map here. Alright, so now what we need, we need some uh, actually let's make this little bit. And you can click a uh, I'm just placing tiles right now, and this is the stamp brush, or B, for, uh, for Blaze Bile, I guess. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go down here to Eraser, or press E as an echo. Just delete that, and we'll put one of these here. Uh, so now we want to go and add some roads. Oh no, it took our grass away. You know, roads can be on top of grass. So how to fix this, first we'll control Z. Fix this by going to Layers, and uh, we'll go this little new page here. A new Tile Layer. Call it roads. So now we can lay have a nice little road here. And in this case someone wants to, you know, stop for a break, go here. And oh by the way, let me uh, let me redo that here. So you see how this tile is facing downward like this. Now I've made these where you could flip them. So let's press Y as in Yamaha and flip it up. So this flips it on its Y axis, so now we have two tile for the price of one. You can go up or down. Now we need a fork here, so we can just do this. And to reconnect all of this, we'll just do this, and take this tile over here, and flip it on its y-axis, and then flip it on its x-axis. Now we have a little, you know, loop-de-loop. -loop. So now let's do some rivers. So we're going to do the same thing we did before with that new tile layer, and just name this rivers. So now we can have a little, uh, little runoff here, from our mountains. So now we want to name things. So let's go, uh, and you notice there's no, there's no text up here. Or there is, but it's grayed out. So we're going to go back to that new layer and click Object Layer. Call this Town Names. So from here, we'll go click on this. Uh, click on the A here, or type uh, E for, for X, I guess. And we'll put all these nice Hello Worlds. Now, personally, um, I don't like the way this looks. This looks, this isn't fantasy looking text. This looks like I'm writing a paper text. Let's name this Snowberg. And we're going to change this font by clicking font. And changing its family. I really like Queen Empress because it's, uh, it's what basic fantasy uses. And uh, it's, I just think it looks really nice. You can change the color. So let's go, you know, go to pure white here. Now we're going to hit S to go to select, and we're going to take it to where it's a little bit easier to see. Now same thing for here, Townsville, Smaldom, and finally, Citiesburg. 
or city ham, yeah, stadium. And this is a big city, so we're gonna make it a bit bigger. And so now, finally, after we get all this named, uh, I got some fonts I didn't change, but that's fine. But now, finally, it's to get it into a uh, a format your players can see, like you know, in your virtual tabletop, or maybe you're sharing it. For that, you just go to File, Export as Image, go to Browse, you know, find where you want to do it. Uh, mine's gonna look weird because I'm using Linux. That's fine. Sure, so you know how to navigate your file system. And I'm gonna change that to Mac. And I like the tile grid, and I like, the, and we want the name. So I'm hit Export. And yep. Uh, so you know, to recap, you can place down you know tiles as long as you're on the right layer. You can flip your tile on the Y axis by pressing Y, the X axis by pressing X, and that makes these tiles uh, a lot more flexible here. And uh, really, that's about all the tips I have. Uh, if I have anything else, I'll make an update video or something. And uh, you know, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.